Garris, very talented fighter, and it's going to be very interesting to see about Alfredo Angulo. He hits hard, 12-0, nine knockouts on his resume, very workmanlike approach. He was an Olympian for Mexico in the 2004 Olympic Games. Richard Gutierrez, another veteran, a lot of experience, only one loss on his resume, someone that really feels that he has the experience to handle Angulo in the fight tonight. Should be interesting to see. Bounce. Red glove, Angulo with the black. Up to the body by Angulo. Second time we've seen Gutierrez brought in as the opponent. He was undefeated, fought Joshua Claudi, and Claudi, it turns out, is an original. If you can beat this guy, maybe if Angolo does, he's this is a kind of a pick em kind of fight. A feeling out process, good uppercut by Gutierrez. Very complimentary to each other. And Gutierrez has a, has a style, a more boxing style. Dropping left from Gutierrez. They exchange. Straight right hand from Gutierrez. And Gulo digs back to the body and then to the head. Right hand from Gutierrez. Right hand was Gutierrez. Gutierrez is getting the better. Like he's controlling the action in the room too. He's doing what he wants to do. He's not getting hit with any silly punches. Right now looking for that good, that perfect shot. Gutierrez again used the jab, good left hook to the body by Angulo. Oh, of Angulo. Animation more and see what kind of combinations he can throw. Angulo trying to finish off the round in fine form. Good. Heal the round with that flurry at the end of the... To hurt Gutierrez there, Bob. And what he did was just throw and caught him with a few. Both guys showing good... Angulo threw 127. Gutierrez... Let's say it's, it's all strategy test match out there. Oh, 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 oh. Who can 20 weeks acknowledges it? No, 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 no. It seems like he's giving up ground. I, up ground. I think he needs to go forward. And forward with a right hand. And a left hand. Backing up Gutierrez. Both exchange in the middle of the ring. Still okay on his toes. And Golo punches straighter. And Golo hooks to the bottom. There's a cut on the right side of his head. Oh, didn't see the punch. Angulo digging with both hands to the body. There's more direct punches. Boxing, use that jab and use that footwork. Colombian fighters, we, but without extensive international experience in the amateurs, they're at a disadvantage. There's moments ago, but straight. Great action. Stopping right hand by Angulo to end the round. Or telling blow. No, no, no. Both boxers have similar stars like be concerned about the head. The two fighters, he has the ability to fight two different ways. And when he doesn't necessarily lapse yeah. into Angulo's style as he shoots a right hand, he can have some success. Yeah, I believe he's got a more fluid boxing style compared to his opponent. Angulo digging in with a combination. You know, Angulo, this is his, this is where he loves to be in the middle of a phone box. You know, this is where he wants to slug it out and throw his punches. Doesn't have to move around and catch his guy. This is what he loves. Luciano need, needs to make it more difficult for him and give him some movement. Nice combination by Angulo. A left and a right to that. Body shot from Angulo. Yeah, while Gutierrez has some of the trapping boxer, meaning he, he looks a little more athletic, a little more mobile, maybe faster hands. Superior technique that has told the difference so far. They switched southpaw there, and he was able to the body and then to the head. Gutierrez shoots a right hand back, and Angulo digs to the body, missed with a right hand, and shoots a left and scores. One. Gutierrez 
Gutierrez is looking a bit slop, sloppy in there. He needs to take a step back and what a great jab he's not using. Like I said, he's electing to go in and slug it out, but he's not using in uh, generalship. A combination of punctuating punches thrown per round. Mark Cardova, unofficial ring. Okay, Bob. 29. 20 Angulo. I gotta tell you, Bob, the first round I thought Richie Gutierrez did good hard shot, showed him real good defense. Alfredo Angulo got into a rhythm in the second round and started to find an absolutely blistering pace. He turned it on like he's doing right here. He absolutely swept rats two and three. One and good. And he comes out with a good body shot here in round number four. Then a left hook to the chin. I incidentally agree with Harold, but as tough as these two are, and to be fighting at this pace, considering both of them punched the way they did. And Gucci flat-footed when he should be on his toes a little bit more. You heard his corner lament that he wasn't too busy. And Rulo. His type of fight that's in front of him, they don't have to look for. He can practice what he practices in the gym because the guy's right there for him. Big right hand, does score a right. Gutierrez has to cover up. Left hand to the body. Harris is talking to him and saying, let's go. Harris wants an even more macho opponent to stand in front of him. As though the slightest bit of technique on the part of his opponent is offensive to him somehow. And Gula gives just enough movement to dip away from some of those right hands from Gutierrez. And he digs to the box. What we're seeing here is glass telling over time. Tremendous speed, punching power, athleticism in the ring. Going through his final preparations, he'll be taking on 28-year-old Darker of his own. Tremendous New York amateur experience. Been in against good competition. Is good right hand here. Straight across. The exchanges. You saw the way he finished and moved away from danger. He's outworked Gutierrez, and he is concentrated on the body. He has not stemmed the tide here. Oh, there he is. Hey, there he is. There was a left hand to the chin that hurt him. There's the answer to your question. He's a one-punch bank. Oh, one big punch. Now does Angulo have the know-how, how to tie his man up? That punch didn't really affect him. That was to come back and control that left hook. Jab. It may open more good flexion of this fight. Five. Chops the right hand. Man, he's hurt. But the is hurt. hurt. That right hand hurt him. Yeah, let me now tell you. Angulo looking to finish it off. Right to the stomach. Gutierrez hurt here in round five. Angulo puts his hands together. What a chin Gutierrez has. He's taking some bombs. Right hand just missed. Gutierrez trying to hold on the fifth. And what hard. He's still winging shots, Gutierrez. Angulo goes to southpaw. Now goes back. A lot of time left. It. Whether Gutierrez can knock out those cobwebs and get those cobwebs out of his head, I doubt it. Right now he's almost much calmer and more precise with his attack. And he digs in with a right left combination. Right hand again. Right hand just missed. Then a left hand to the jaw. Gutierrez rocked again. Right hand across. And Gutierrez is hurt. Tony Weeks has stopped it. Here in the fifth. And that's it. This is not steady on his legs. Referees jumping in there, didn't want him to take any more punishment and stop. You think it was a good stoppage, Lennox? It was a uh, right, uh, then a left hand to the chin, and hit kind of at the chest and the chin. He was off balance. Obviously, he was hurt. He did not go down. Do you agree? Let the power numbers 